Alright, in this video, we want to see how we can upload files using Inertia.js and we are going to add a section to our register form and allow users to upload their profile image. So let's just start with the basics and just get the markup in our register form. So inside our register view component, above the name input field, I'm going to just create a simple div and within that we would have a label for avatar and we just want to have the text avatar and then an input field of type file so we don't need the name attribute since we are going to use inertia form helper but i'm going to use the id so if we click on the label we would get the pop-up all right so this is our button and it is very simple if we click on it we can upload an image so we get the name of that image right here or a file now we want to grab this file out of this input field so much like these other input fields we can define a property for it inside our use form function and i'm going to call it avatar and set it to null and then we want to attach that avatar property to this input field now since this is a file type we cannot use the v model but we can listen for the input event and then invoke our own function so i want to create a change function up here and then listen for changes so above our submit button i will create a change function and we want to accept the event so we can get the uploaded image so if i just console.log that event target and then files and the first one in the files array so this is just basic javascript when we upload the file we get an array and in this case we want the first element of that array so let's go back to our website open the console and if i choose a file here in our console we get the file and the name and the information about that file or image so it works and we want to assign this to our avatar property so i'm just going to cut it and use our form avatar and then assign this uploaded file to it then when we submit the form we would have all the information including this avatar file so let's go to our auth controller and let's just die and dump the request object before doing anything and i'm going to comment out this is sleep back to our website i'm going to choose one image here and just press register so we get our request object and under the file bag we have an array with one element which is our avatar and you notice it is the proper uploaded file even though we didn't include the ink type attribute to our form we still got the proper uploaded file and that's because inertia automatically converts the request data into a form data when it detects a file in the form so it will automatically add that multi-part form data to our form when there is a file in the request and this is another inertia feature that makes our job easier so of course we can chain avatar to this request object and back to our application if i choose a file again and press register we get that uploaded file up here so we actually want to upload this and save it in our project and we already covered this in the laravel series it is exactly the same we want to first check if there is actually a file so we can say if the request object has a file called avatar then we want to use the storage facade and choose the disk we want to save in this case we want to say public and then use the put method and the first argument is going to be path so i will have an avatars folder and as a second argument we would pass the image itself or the file so again we can say request avatar so if that is successful I'm just going to die and dump okay so let's see if this works so back to our website i'm going to choose this heart image and press register we get okay and if we check our storage folder we have app public and avatars and then the image that was uploaded and that's all we have to do to store an image using inertia forms so we just have to take a few steps first we need to declare a variable inside the use form helper function or object then we need to listen for changes on our input of type file and submit that form to our post route which is handled through laravel now we actually want to save this into our database as well but since this is our users table we need to do a bit of modification so let's go to our create users table and i'm going to add a column to save that image path so right above the name i'm going to grab that table again and set the type to string and i'm going to call that avatar now since i don't want this to be required i can chain nullable to this statement 
next we want to go to our user model and we want to add the property avatar to this fillable array so we can assign it using our form so let's close this one too back to our auth controller i'm going to cut this if statement and move it after validations get rid of this die and dump and add some validations for our avatar field so we want to grab the input field in this case we called it avatar and we want to add the validation rules for example i want it to be a proper file it is nullable and let's set the size to 300 kilobytes i'm just setting it to 300 so i can see the error message now back in our register view component we need to show that error message if it exists and we already know how to do this we have access to form errors and then the name of that field through inertia form helper so let's just add a p tag here and i'm just going to output that form errors then avatar and we will actually style this in a nice way with a preview image but for now we just want to learn how these things work back to our website if i try to upload this image which is about three megabytes and press register you see we get this error message that says the avatar failed to upload so that error message also works so let's go back to our auth controller if the validations pass we want to check if there is an image save it into our database and then create the user now if the image doesn't exist this avatar is going to be null and that is fine for our users table however if it is not null we want to save the path that this storage statement gives us now we could just create another variable here and call it avatar or something and set it to null and then update it down here but we could also directly override this avatar property inside this fields array so we don't have to change this statement down here so we can save the return of this storage statement into fields the avatar element so then we would create a user with whatever this fields array gives us and then we would log in the user and redirect back to the home page or maybe let's go to dashboard since we have a dashboard now so let's open our database and we have three users at the moment but we need to run a fresh migration since we made some changes so we're going to lose all these users which is fine so let's go to the terminal and run php artisan migrate fresh that would drop all the tables and recreate them and we don't have any users but now we have a new column all right so let's actually register and see if this works so i'm going to choose this photo here and also some information then press register we go back to the dashboard and we have the user in our database and a path to their avatar image and if we check a storage folder avatars now we have this cherry image so this heart image is from the previous upload that we checked so we can delete it and we just have one image so now we want to make these images public so they can be accessible by anyone we can do that using another artisan command and that is a storage link so this will create a symbolic link of our storage folder inside the public folder so we have now public storage avatars and then the name of the image so let's say we want to show the user's image right next to their dashboard so we can go to our layout view and in this section where we show the dashboard and the log out button we want to add an image that would point to the authenticated user's avatar and remember we already made that authenticated user global prop using handle inertia request if we go to that middleware for a moment we have the share function and then we have auth user that is set to the authenticated user if it exists and we said we only want to share the id and the name of that user but now since we have a new field we want to share the avatar field as well and in fact if we go back to our website and open view dev tools in our inertia component we have props auth user and the properties of that authenticated user so we have avatar id and name back in our layout we can bind the source attribute of this image to that authenticated user using the same statement that we used for this if statement and then we want to grab the avatar field which is the path to that image but this is not quite right because we need to point this to the storage and then avatars and the name of the image so what we have to do here just concatenate the text storage like this with a forward slash so this would be a storage forward slash avatars and then the name of the image so if we save this one and go back to our project we see the image which is very big so we just have to apply some classes 
and I already have a class called avatar and I'm also going to add a class to the wrapper and that's the image of the user. So, and that's how we can grab images from our folders and render it on our website. Just remember this path should point to your public folder and that means you should have a symbolic storage link inside the public folder. All right, so, but now let's say some users don't have an image. So I'm gonna log out and register a new user without uploading an image. So register a new user, we are back to dashboard and now we have this broken profile image. So what we can do is either hide it if there is no image by adding a vif statement here, or we could provide a default image and say, if this exists, then render it. Otherwise, show us the default image. And I already have a default image in the root directory of my project, which is this one. And I'm just going to drag and drop this one into the avatars folder, all right, like so. So now what we can do here is to make this condition. So I'm just gonna add this statement again, and we could make this into a computed property since we are using it so many times, but I'm just gonna hard code it for now. We want to say, if the user avatar is true, then render this statement here. I'm gonna wrap it in parentheses. Otherwise, we just want to show that default image. So we want to go to a storage, then avatars, and then the name of our default image. So let's see if it works. There we go, we have the default image. And again, if the user has a profile picture, we will see that one. Now, let's log out again and go to register and let's style this in a nicer way so we could also have a preview image. So I'm gonna close the layout and handle inertia request middleware and also our auth controller. And I'm just going to get rid of all of this and paste another block of code. And basically I just have a wrapper with some CSS classes applied and I made the input field hidden so I can style the label the way I want. And then I have the error messages down here with some classes applied and basically just HTML and CSS so we can get something nicer like this. Now, right now the container is white and we don't see anything because I want to use this image tag down here and show the default image if there is nothing and show the uploaded image preview if the user uploads one. So this is basically just JavaScript. We want to create a URL from this uploaded file so we can attach it to the source attribute of that image. So what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna create another property in our form function and I'm gonna call it preview and set it to null as an initial value. Then down here, after we update our avatar property, we also want to update the preview property and set it to the URL, which is a JavaScript interface and then create object URL, then pass in the uploaded file down here. So this would create a URL of the uploaded image so we can attach it to this source attribute of this image. So let's just bind this to form.preview. So when we upload an image, this change function would be called and we would update these two properties. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna give it a refresh, select an image, and there we go, we see the preview. So now we want to make this conditional again. So if there is no image, we should see the default one. So in the source attribute, we can use the logical operator and say, if the form preview is null, then grab our default image from the storage. Let's see if this works back to the project. We see the default image and if I upload one, then it is replaced with the new one. So just to see if this works, I'm gonna create new user here with this information and press register and we are redirected to our dashboard. We see the image and of course, if we check the storage folder, we have the default one and two other images that belong to other users. So this is how we can upload an image and save it into our database and also have an image preview wherever we want to show it. I hope you enjoyed this one. In the next video, we will talk about pagination.